you for voting as Yuba Sutter's best in multiple categories, including financial advisor and wealth management firm for the past five years. You can find more information at shawassociatesinc.com or 530-674-1150. Shaw & Associates is proud to support Community Radio. And Fish, we have a full house there right now. I like it. I like it, too. It's very green, except for the chief. He decided against the green today. Uh, yeah. I don't know why. Always I, a rebel. Uh, Always somebody, a rebel. Somebody's going to pinch him, right? Oh, no, that's St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, that's coming up <laughs> close, but not quite today. Uh, but in in the studio with us, we uh, you know, we've got Chief... Oh, the fire chief over here. Chief Eric. He doesn't want to be called anything else besides Eric. <laughs> <laughs> it was Sandy and Chris Drown. How how's everybody doing? Outstanding. How Great. are you this morning? Yeah. Oh, we're doing fantastic. We're Good. so excited. You want to bring that mic closer to you, Chris, so we can hear you a little bit better. There He's we go. He's a newbie. Sorry. It's it's okay. <laughs> I'm intimidated. <laughs> What's so oh, intimidating yeah, right really? now? Really? <laughs> <laughs> that face looks so intimid- how intimidated. How many believe that? Oh. Look, no hands. No <laughs> hands. Oh, we got one on, on Facebook that no somebody right. believes it, right? <laughs> so we're talking about St. Baldrick's Day. What is St. Baldrick's Day, and uh, what does it? Why is it there? So oh. everybody looks at you. Say, I know, you do. Like, You're I, the I, spokeswoman. Let's do You're it. up. Um, well, I'm going to let the chief talk about that because this is actually he started this project and uh, partnered with the Vikings. So I'm going to let him. Uh, Did you see that Olay? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. We got red curtains in here. It's yeah, exactly. It's yeah. the mustache. It's kind of intimidating. Um, <laughs> so St. Baldrick's is a foundation started. Uh, I don't even know how long ago. Locally, we started participating in it back in 2010. Um, it's a foundation for children's cancer research. Okay. It's a fundraiser. It's a head shaving event. Um, I got involved in it back in the, again, 2010-ish uh, with the organization that I belong to, the the Fools International, which is an acronym for Fraternal Order of Leatherhead Society. Um, and so the is fool- that for football? The leatherhead right there? Yeah. No. 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 Okay. Different helmet. <laughs> Different helmet. Um, the, the leather fire helmet is the traditional symbol of firefighters. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So... Um, the, the Fool started back in the, the mid-90s in Central Florida, but um, our local chapter, the Sutter Butte Fools, picked up and ran with St. Baldrick's about, you know, 10, 12 years ago, and um, we were fortunate to partner with the Happy Viking back then with uh, Chris and Sandry, but also uh, Joe and Sabrina yep. back when they owned the, the Happy Viking. And... Um, yeah, we've missed a couple years because of COVID and a few things like that, but um, we're we're really excited. It's coming up next weekend. Um, yeah. So far, you know, not counting this year's donations, you know, the event itself here in Yuba City has create has uh, raised over fifty thousand dollars. Oh wow! For kids' cancer research, we're looking pretty good. I don't have the numbers for so far this year, but we're looking we're looking, looking good. good for this year as well. So um, we're really excited about it, and it's it's just. A great cause, a great cause. Yeah, so this is coming up next weekend, right? The yeah. 19th. And so what What are we, What happens on St. Baldrick's Day? Do you just get guys in there and just shave their heads, guys and gals, or what? Yeah, is I it mean, a what's buzz happening? cut like, or is it a razor? Uh, like you guys <laughs> just set them out on the street corner. Next, next. Yeah, it's like much. the military. Yeah, we, we put a stage out on the sidewalk, and uh, it's, a, it's a really fun event out there. There's always... Um, it's always more emotional than expected. There are a okay. couple of yeah. good stories that come out every single time because um, this is it is a lot of fun and um, there's some there's some fun rivalries that come out of it. Um, just a couple, just a couple. <laughs> um, but at the end of it, it's about raising money for children's cancer research. Which, we, we partner with Sports Clips, our national sponsor for uh, St. Baldrick's, and so they'll have we'll have their barbers, Trisha, and she'll have somebody else oh. there. Oh, nice! Yeah, so yeah. yeah, I know that place. Yeah, I know her. We've had her on the air. Yeah, so yeah, she'll be there. Um, in that, and it's a lot of fun because you can kind of. I remember one year. I shaved just the middle of his head first, and that was kind of fun to watch him. Yeah, she little... wanted to leave it like that. <laughs> I think that would be awesome. <laughs> of course she did. <laughs> <laughs> and then one year, I remember he decided uh, one of our employees was going to cos- cosmetology school, and so she dyed his hair and his beard before the event. And it was funny because after everything got shaved, his face was green for like oh. another week. <laughs> yeah, I did not anticipate that. I looked like a tennis ball for a couple of days. <laughs> yeah, my dad did the same thing. He he dyed his mustache. 
mustache for it one year, and he had a green mustache for a week afterwards. So. Yep. That, that won't happen again. No, <laughs> definitely not. But people can sign up to uh, shave their head and then raise money. Um, they can go to uh, the Happy Viking and uh, find the link there, or you can go to stbaldricks.org sla- um, slash events slash Happy Viking 2022. Um, but it's it's really cool. We have uh, already some uh, young children that have signed up to oh, participate, nice. and they're Actually. raising their own money. Um, and then I think one of the things that um, we had customers one uh, one year, and this little kid was watching everybody do it, and he got so inspired, and he said, Mom, I want to do this. And so just the whole family just watching you know, a, ch- a child like get inspired by uh, children's cancer was, was really cool. So how does this work? If you sign up to get your head shaved, then you, do you go around and gather donations for for getting your head shaved, say, hey, I'm shaving my head for cancer on St. Baldrick's Day. You can come watch me get my head yep, shaved Yep, that's exactly off it, and, yeah. Okay. And so they go to uh, to the link, and then they'll they'll search for their name, and then they can add money to it right online. Just, I mean, it's just as easy as Venmo. Just okay. click, and then you add it. Um, or they can donate cash or a check that the day of. Okay, so what if you don't know anybody that wants to get their head shaved? You can you donate don't- to me. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, here's Trump. the competition. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Coming here we out go. right now. <laughs> but this year we also have um, uh, realtors and loan officers competing with each other. So they have their own teams. So you'll see loan officers um, competing with realtors a- in our local community. And then you've got, I know your team's doing really well. Yes. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> but anytime we can, uh, you know, knock down uh, Hankins, it's a, it's a good day. It is a good day. <laughs> it is a good day. So so people can donate whether they have an opportunity to get involved or not, right? So, so um, because you were talking about some people have already donated, right? Mm-hmm. So they can go on, you know, because it's for children's cancer. I mean, they might just say, hey, look, I can't be there that day or whatever, but I want to support something that is a worthy cause like that. So is there a way? Can they do that by going to that w- web page and just... They can. They can go to the link. They could go to the restaurant and donate there. Um, they could uh, the day of. But yeah, it's you can get involved in different ways, and it's kind of fun to watch people shave their head and kind of go through that um, <laughs> of the letting yeah. go of the hair. I'm just picturing Chris with the z- right yeah. down the middle. Well, of if you like, show up, you yeah. could. I'm sure he'll let you do that. We'll do it again. <laughs> wow. The, the website the really temptation. does kind of line you out where you need to go as far as making donations and whatnot. So that's ideally the place that we always send people to, to make their donations is to go to the website. Um, some of the the advertisements in the past have had a QR code. I haven't seen any of the stuff this year to see if there's anything or not, but a lot of times you can just scan the QR code and do that as well. Um, but yeah, the, the stbaldricks.org, and even if you don't remember the whole events, Happy Viking 2022, all that stuff, just simply doing a search in the top uh, up in the up, upper right hand corner of the website of stbaldricks.org has a little search window where you can just search an event. Yeah. Type in Yuba City is all you have to do, and it'll bring it up. And then you can see the event. You can donate straight to the event. You can go through the list of participants, and you can donate to any one of those. Donate to me. Um, <laughs> and that's why you have 10, 10 or 12 participants. Right yeah. Now. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. And we usually will get, you know, one or two people that are at the restaurant to say, I want to shave my head. Yeah. And uh, that's great. We we support that as well. Okay. So they can actually sign up right then and there. We'll just pull out an iPad and have them sign the release. And I have to ask this, right? Have you ever had a woman or a girl? Absolutely. Yeah. We had a young lady the, yeah. what was it, the first or second year? Yeah. And yeah. I, I'm totally drawing a blank. It was one of our regulars. It was his daughter. They've come back just about every year, and I feel stupid for not knowing her name. But Yep, I know it on the tip of my tongue. She was probably only... 10 or 12 and same just like sandy says she was so inspired that yeah. she said you yeah. know and I, I believe she had a friend that was dealing with childhood cancer and she she i mean she had nice long beautiful hair and she shaved it all off so well, i've wow. heard of them uh, cutting their hair and they donate that right so they can make yep, but you know I, j- I just wondered for this right because it's like I, i'm trying to picture sandy with just that strip out of the middle what do you think chris I mean, you be okay well let me it? just say it, it's going to cost you, if you a want to lot shave right? yeah. we're going to do that yeah. we're kicking yeah. down the yeah. big bucks oh yes so, uh, so how much oh, yes. would it cost in order for sandy to shave her head <laughs> it would i would i would say 10. Ten? ten would make me feel good about ten dollars. I got ten dollars in my wallet right 10, now. Ten thousand. Oh, that would oh, make me feel yeah. Megan over at the Silver Dollar just shaved her head. Ooh. Oh, she did. She looks so good too. Yes, yeah, she does. Oh. Well, she should have waited. On. <laughs> <laughs> she should have waited till next Saturday. 
So with St. Baldrick's Day, with it goes to child cancer research. Is there a certain cancer they're they're researching, or is it all cancers? No, it's so. it's um, across all all types of childhood cancer because childhood cancer is very un- underrepresented in the funding that it receives for really? for the treatments. Yeah, um, there are I believe there's four major types of of childhood cancer treatments that they're they're trying to to fund the development of. Okay. So I mean that's that's good to know because you think of childhood cancer, you think of everybody that it affects. You yeah. know, uh, when somebody's older and they get cancer, it's kind of like the family comes together. When it's a child, it's like a community comes together. Yeah. Yeah. So it's great to hear. I mean, this sounds like an extremely fun event. I'm not going to shave my head. I'm telling you right now because you will see all the lumps and bumps <laughs> that I have on my head, and it'll look so weird. Guaranteed. Come and watch anyways, though. It's a good time. Yeah. Too many scars, man. Your head would look exactly. like a road map, right? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Mine looks like the buttes. Does it? <laughs> Too many lumps. <laughs> so this is happening t- on Saturday, uh, March 19th? Yep. Yes, March 19th from 2 to 4. 2 to at 4 the so, Viking. at the Viking. So will the Viking be open? I mean, Absolutely. can people get something to eat and go sit we'll down? And it's St. Patrick's Day weekend, so we're running food and drink specials from St. Patrick's Day through Sunday. Ah, yeah. you know St. Patrick's Day is Pablo's birthday. Yes, sir. You knew Absolutely. that, right? Yeah. You remembered I, that. I remember right? well. Yeah. yeah. So have some well, green beer. Watch, green beer. Have some green beer. Watch some people get their heads shaved. Donate some money. It's going to be a four days of shenanigans. But um, we're really excited about the St. Baldrick's on Saturday from 2 to 4. I think it's a great idea. It's a great opportunity. You know, the community has been really good about coming out for stuff, no matter what it is. We had our fundraiser. People really helped, and we were very appreciative. But I think sometimes it's like when it becomes fun, but it's serious. Yeah. Right? yeah. So it's a fun event for a serious cause. And then the community just loves stuff like that. Plus, we're all wanting to get out. Let's get out. And what a better way to get out than to watch Chris Brown become bald Chris Down. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking. And, you know, look, if, if, you can, if you can shave Sandy's head for 10 grand, I'm willing to bet that you can get Chris's for five grand. I bet you well, can get Chris's for Well, look at this mustache over bucks. here. Oh, right? the mustache yeah, is yeah, going to cost you at least five like grand. The mustache isn't on the table this and year. And I'm willing <laughs> next year. The mustache is not on the table this year. I had to give Chris a fight and chance. Hey, you, you, know, you know that everything has a price. Five grand might make that mustache disappear. Uh, the last time it was five grand minimum for, uh, to come off for six months. The original bet with a friend of mine... Um, I lost a good friend of mine in 2012. Uh, he died in the line of duty in New York City. Oh. And um, his wife, I'm sorry, he was very big in St. Baldrick's back in New York. And um, his wife wanted me to shave my mustache in Rich's honor. Uh. And I said, the only way I'll do it is if you raise enough money. She goes, what will it take? I said, $10,000 and I'll keep it off for one year. Wow. And... Uh, the donations just weren't coming in, coming in, coming in. And so finally I adjusted it slightly and said five grand for six months. <laughs> and I'll be darned if they didn't find five grand when my mustache came off for six months. <laughs> so next year, that's our, our target. Man, I'm telling next you, year. you know, shoot Maybe for the sky, right? Year, yeah, yep. definitely. So with this, uh, how much money do you guys uh, usually raise on a typical St. Baldrick's Day? About the average, what's raised? Here I think in our on an average, if you go back, um, it's about fifteen, ten to fifteen thousand that we raise. Nice. Our goal this year is uh, fifteen. We're halfway there. So usually, a lot of the activity comes this last week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And so we're super excited about that. We've got some people that sponsored, some businesses that actually sponsored this year. So if any businesses are looking to get involved as well, they can go onto the site and directly. Um, uh, donate there, or um, some businesses like to write checks. So um, we, we like to do write checks. So I um, mean, you can also drop <laughs> yeah. a check too. But yeah, it was it was cool. We had um, showcase uh, and um, hometown lenders were businesses that uh, supported us this year. That's really That's exciting. Good. Yeah. So Chris and Eric, I've got one question for the both of you guys. After you shave your heads, are you worried about how much hair is going to come back? I mean, you are middle aged men. Ah! I understand Ouch. what's happening. Ouch. It's happening to me oh, as well. Age. I know. I, it's happening to me as well. That's why I'm saying this. It's just wiser, not questions. older. Yeah. Yes. Okay. As you're getting just, wiser, just wiser. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, would, I would keep it off all year if Sandy had let me. Really? Yeah. 
Are you just not a hair fan anymore? I, it's so easy. Yeah, well, that's, <laughs> that's, that's the truth. That's the truth. You don't even need truth. shampoo and conditioner nope. anymore. It's just yeah. soap up and you're done. And nobody knows. Yeah. <laughs> well, somebody asked me, they said, does it bother you that your hair is turning gray? And I said, I said, no, as long as it doesn't turn loose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, kind of, yeah. it's like that works for me, you know? Yeah. So, you guys, our time is pretty much up, but thank you guys so yeah. much for coming. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Talk Absolutely. About thank Baldur's you very much. Day. So, again, what was the website? What's the link? So and go to the Happy go Viking and, and click the link there, or you can go to um, stbaldricks.org backslash events um, ha- backslash Happy Viking 2022. Or you can just, like Eric said, is just go to St. Baldrick's and you can type in Yuba City for the location and it'll pop up us. All right, stbaldricks.org. That's yeah. Yeah. where you can go and uh, well, just I like go the, into the Viking. And, that's what I was going to say. Go food. to the Viking. Make it easy on yourself. Go by there, get some of their incredible chicken noodle soup. <laughs> Just say it. I don't know, maybe they'll have sweets. chicken noodle soup, but anything, right? But it's a great opportunity. And what, two to four? Yep. Right? Yeah. So, two to four, you get to be there, have a green beer, which I'm still trying to cycle to what yeah. that's like, right? <laughs> I'll just but have then my then you get to You get to see it going on. And, and hey, if even if it's last minute, you decide to donate and, and offer your head up, right? Mm-hmm. Just remember, it's for a worthy cause. D- definitely. You guys, thank you so much for being in. This is a great interview. Thanks for having us. Appreciate thank it. you. This community interview is made possible by Shaw & Associates. I'm Dave Shaw, President and CEO of Shaw & Associates. For over 65 years, Shaw & Associates has been your trusted local expert for wealth management, tax, accounting, and payroll. Thank you for voting us Yuba Sutter's best in multiple categories, including financial advisor and wealth management firm for the past five years. You can find more information at shawassociatesinc.com or 530-674-1150. Shaw & Associates is proud to support community radio.